Peter, if I'm not back in half an hour, I'll call International Rescue. Tracy, Tracy, wait! Do you not want to hear the Michael Milligan Children's Home welcome speech? Not the way you say it, your pants. Oh, hang on! Mike, someone's put that stuff in my room. Look, uh, Tracy, you've been gone for three months. We thought you left us for good this time. This is my room! Whoever's in it can pack up that scratching stuff and clear off right now! Sorry, chicken. I can't do that. No, Tracy Beaker was coming back. It's got the round window. People pay extra for that, you know. That old room's better. I'm sorry it didn't work out with Ted and Julie. Better look next time, eh? If you want me to have better luck, Mike, you should foster me yourself. <laughs> you get paid and I'd be worth extra. Cos I'm difficult and I've got behavioural problems. You'll probably get so much cash you could give up work and stay home all day eating chocolates. Oh, go on, we'd have a laugh. Going on journeys, having adventures. Just us, together. <laughs> Look out for you. We'd have a brilliant time. Yeah, I'm sure we would. But it's not really on now, is it? Sorry, kiddo. You didn't think I was serious, did you? Ugh. I brought on people thinking I had such a tragic foster dad. Don't think you can get round me with flattery, Tracy Beaker. Listen, I'll leave you to get yourself sorted out, right? Aren't you going to go see Tracy? She hasn't spoken to me since the day she left. Can't see why she want to do it now. Who's Tracy? Just some kid who used to live here. Louise, she was your best friend. She's not anymore. Christine, could I have a word, please? Hello. Tracy's upstairs. You want to say hello? Why does everyone keep on going on about Tracy? Sorry. He's I coming. thought you two were mates. So did I, until she left and forgot all about me. Oh. Louise! My dad's coming to take me out for tea. Come and help me choose what to wear. Room. I thought you said you were leaving forever. Ted and Julie only wanted me as a slave for their new baby, so I made them bring me back. Didn't they mind? They were gutted. <laughs> there were tears <laughs> sobbing the works. They even tried to bribe me with presents. I couldn't stay with adults who begged. I'm sorry, Tracy. We can't foster you anymore. You're taking me back to the dumping ground. That's not fair. I got here first. Let's see the presents then. I haven't unpacked them yet. I'm waiting for her to move out so I can move back in again. I'm not budging. This is my room now. Oh, no! My clock! Tracy, speak up! I am going to kill her! Put less than an hour. She didn't hang about. Her dad gave her that. What am I going to tell him when he turns up? Justine. I'll have a word with Tracy. I'll have her for this! 
Can you fix this? I need it by this afternoon. Is it just the ants? Yeah. No problem. Yeah. My brother does the business. How did it happen? It was Tracy Beaker. Look, first one's on the ass. Thanks. No, no sign of her upstairs, Duke. She's not down here. Right, I'd better find a social worker. No, Jenny, easy. Come on, Tracy's upset enough already without having to face Elaine the pain. Let me take the minivan and have a scout about. She's probably just sitting out somewhere. each other. You're on the streets then? Looks like it, doesn't it? I'm Ben. Ben Bamboos. Tracy Beaker. Where'd you get all that? What do you care? Come on, Tracy. Where are you? Did someone lock you up and throw away the chocolate? Yeah, something like that. I'm hardly ever allowed out. I'm a computer genius. I come up with new games worth millions. I'm so important, I have to have round-the-clock protection for minders in case I'm kidnapped. I like to get away every so often and just pretend I'm a normal kid. Ah, uh -uh. Don't even think about it, Tracy. Come on. Come on. She doesn't have to. I'm afraid she does. Don't worry, he's one of my minders. <laughs> I'm big, I'm mean, I'm a muscle machine. Oh, you had to ruin it. Thanks for the chocolate. See you around, Beaker. Back upstairs. No, I've given that Tracy Beaker a good slap. Upstairs. Leave it, Justine. Tracy, I don't think we've said a proper hello yet, have we? Shall we do it in my office? That's one of those grown-up questions where the kid's not supposed to answer, right? <laughs> Screwdriver. Has he nearly finished yet? Sorry, you're going to have to wait outside. Oh. And I do understand how hard it is having to come back, but you're just going to have to try and settle in again, Tracy. And I really think it would help if you apologised to Justine. I never broke her stupid clock. Oh, so you know it's about a clock. Justine's dad gave that to her. Imagine how you'd feel if someone had broken something your mum had given you. Ryan, you rock. Sorry! OK! <laughs> Tracy! What, I apologised, didn't I? Enough to make grown men tremble three streets away. Now you're going to apologise and you're going to do it so that everybody knows that you mean it. <laughs> Don't worry, you probably just missed his train. Her dad. I used to spend hours here waiting for my mum. But then I realised she loves the sun so much, she must have gone to Spain. But I never got a postcard. So then I knew. She was in Hollywood! She's so beautiful, my mum. I know she's been snapped up to make movies. Your mum's never an actress in Hollywood. Well, why else wouldn't she come and visit me? My dad is coming. He said so. Well, so did my mum. Have you been winding her up? Cheering her up, actually. He's here! Oh, hi, Steve. Dad! <laughs>
Betty. Only because Justine's gone off with her dad and you're stuck for something to do. You think you're so clever, Tracy Beaker. But you're not. And you're not nice either. All those foster parents wouldn't have dumped you back here. I asked to be brought back. You were just such a big fat liar. <laughs> Enough, Louise. Especially about your precious mother. Always saying how she's coming to get you. She hasn't been yet, has she? Go to your room now. Not like Justine. She's got a real dad. One who visits. I bet your mum never will! Hello. You can come out now. Duke has saved you some tea. And... Jenny says to remind you that you still haven't apologised to Justine properly yet. Haven't I been punished enough? Let's try to kid her. Aren't you coming out? In a minute. Don't see why she made a fuss. He's nothing special. I'd rather have a dad like that who visited than no one at all. Are you crying? Bug off, Reed. Tracy Beacon never cries. It's the dumping ground dust gets my hay fever. Tracy Beaker calling Justine Littlewood. Come in, Justine Littlewood. Tracy Beaker apologises in front of all these witnesses for the accident which happened by accident to your clock. Happy Jenny. No, get off my car. Welcome back, Tracy Beaker. It's like I've never been away. Stand by for more of my brilliant life. any left for myself. Mmm, delicious strawberry flavour. My favourite. Oh, look, isn't that your dad? Hey, you, give that back. Oh, sorry, I look just like him, except for it was only a bald, fat little pig flying by. Mmm, strawberry, my total favourite. Give that back, Tracy Beaker. Come on, Lou, let's go. Louise? No problem. Stay, be late and get in trouble with her. Justine, wait. Whoa, whoa, hey! Oh, Beaker, we meet again. Don't mush my place up. This is your place. It's not all paid for yet, but I call it home. Cool. But these aren't paid for either, are they? I wouldn't like to say. I know exactly what you mean. Plenty more where they came from. You should meet my mum. She lives on the edge too. We used to take whatever we wanted. We were the very classiest of master criminals. No one could outsmart us. Though sometimes things got a little hairy. Odds were impossible. We'd always stick together. You all 
right. No, they ought to cut these flowers. It gets my hay fever. Right. Of course. Things change when she left to become a film star. Um, Tracy, do you expect me to believe all that? Why should I care what you believe? And a big hello, how are things to you too? Tracy Beak is late again. Five minutes is hardly late. But guess whose turn it is to clean up? I know it'll cheer you up. Pizza. I'll do a Duke of Special. Look, in black and white. Dining room. Thursday. Tracy Beaker. See? Back off her for a while. Can't we try and all get on for once? Mice. Jude, look at the rotor. I hate mice. What? Don't you live with your mum no more? Not at the moment. I'm in a sort of big house. Like a stately home? No, a care home. But there's no care and it's no home. It's really strict. They have to fence us in. Electric fences? Ten zillion volts. And the wire goes deep underground. The inmates are desperate to get out. But there's no escape, thanks to the guard dogs. Guard dogs? Huge things. And the teeth. Do they bite? Nah. You never even touch the sides. This I've got to see. You want to see my place? You've seen mine? OK, why not? Right, Mass Patrol. This is war. Lock and load. Move out. Yes, sir. I mean, yes, General. What are you doing? That mouse is as good as dead. So, where are the dogs then? Um, must be their tea time. Wait here while I go and get a security pass. Is that going to be a problem? For me? Ha! Huh. Nobody says no to Tracy Beaker. No! Look, I know I'm back late, and I know it was my turn to lay the table, but... Don't tell me. Let me guess. You were having a kick around in the park when you were spotted by a talent scout and were picked to play for the England team, but your agent had to renegotiate terms? No, it was Brazil, actually. I hate having to reschedule the cleaning rota around everybody's social lives. No visitors, not tonight. But... Tracy, do you understand the meaning of the word no? Of course I do. No means... Yes! Great, let's go. Hold on. Call me dumb, but when you said come and see my place, I thought you meant from the inside. Not. Of course I do, but that's cruel. Just catch it. Then what? No! There must be lots of things you can do, like, um, you know. Oh, you'll think of something, but no violence. There's no fun around here. I bet you'd like me to build it a little house, then tuck it into bed at night. <laughs> Keep it as a pet. Brilliant! <laughs> here we are again, doing Tracy's work for her. Where is she? That girl thinks she can get away with murder. Hurry up! I want to get out of these rags. This isn't allowed, is it? I'm allowed? Well, not allowed exactly. It's a flexible rule. Definitely no boys in girls' rooms. That sounds flexible. It's just a definitely that has me worried. We get punished if I get caught. What could they do to me? I'd never squid on anyone. Even Justine Littlewood. OK, 
okay, but I'd hate to get a mate into trouble. Mate? Don't worry, no one will find you. Ah, oh, food. Smells good. You want some? I'll get room service. Just look at that. Perfect. You know, Jake, you're probably the best cook in the world. What are you after? Me? Nothing. Just a couple of slices in my room. Oh, yes, ma'am. I'll get the hand servants to bring them up on a silver platter. No need. I'll just help myself. No, you don't. Then you cook it. You cook one. Yes! Oh, no, no, not in here. Come on. Not by the food. Now, where'd you catch it? I went. Oh, you haven't touched it, have you? We got it. Right, hold this. I'm gonna go and get me mallet. Mallet? Tracy. Tracy? Hold it right there. I hate cleaning, it's such a time waster. You do. Who's that? Tracy Beaker. I wonder if Jenny knows about your private visitor. Justin, please. We don't snitch in the dumping ground. So, if you have any plausible theories about the missing pizza, I'd love to hear them. Well, my soccer skills coach must have decided to drop by for a snack, along with my agent, to talk business. Really? Really. So, what are these? It's obvious they've been planted there, so I get the blame. Well, now perhaps you can take your fluffy toppings and eat them before your agent takes his 10%. Hey, Jake. Let me at it. OK, Zach. Let you do it. Don't worry about his family. Sure. Zach's kids won't have a mum anymore. That hasn't ever done us any harm. Go ahead, Chook. Flatten it. It's just a mouse. Sure, so go on. Make more orphans. There's no alternative. You can't keep it here. I guess not. You could just let it go. What? And have it nibbling away at my food again? You think it'd come back after messing with you? No way. Let's learn this lesson. I suppose I have shown it who's boss. No doubt. You'll never set foot in this house again. Thanks, Duke. It looks terrific. OK, guys, has everyone had some pizza? Tracy, what about your friend? What friend? Her boyfriend in her bedroom, of course. Any ketchup? There's no one in my room, Ollie. No one, not even a couple of footballers, maybe. This is a violation of my human rights. The United Nations would see you now. You'd be for it. Tracy, tell me the truth. Do you have anything you'd like to say to me before we go in? Is there anybody in your bedroom? No. I mean, yes. me, huh? A brief written apology would be fine. Or you could talk to my lawyers. Well, maybe I was a bit hasty. I suppose I should give even you, Tracy, the benefit of the doubt occasionally. I suppose I did jump to... Conclusions. It's OK. Wrong number. Tracy Beaker! Oh, you mean that boy? You shoot me after dinner, I'm starving. <laughs>